All right, let's get going right here. Nice, easy step touch right side to side with those legs. Old fashioned warm up that I used to do back in the day. Reach and pull with those arms. <clears throat> Big step touch, nice and wide with those legs. We've got body weight conditioning today. What does that mean? That means we just use our body weight and we work through a series of simple exercises. Here we go, you guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull those heels up into the butt. Press back with the arms. I want you to squeeze those triceps on this pushback right here. Squeeze those triceps. Push them back. Push them back. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull those knees up in front right here. Pull those knees. Reach in the sky. Pull down. Knee into your chest. Let's get those heart rates up. Let's get some mobility, some joint lubrication right here. We're going to chip away at our body weight exercises. So you're kind of at your own pace. You can add weight if you choose to or just follow along with me. I am going strictly body weight today. You've got four, three, two. Here we go. Take that right leg forward nice and deep. Nice deep lunge for me right here. I told you we're going to do some mobility stretching. I want that left hand to the floor. Hold that stretch. Just a nice deep lunge. Core is tight. All right, now let's take that right arm. Drop it down low to the floor if you can. Rotate to the side. Back center. Rotate to the side. Keep going. Let's go, 10 of those. 10 of those lizards with rotation. Come on, you guys. If you can't get deep down, that's okay. You can be here, up a little bit higher. Still rotating, four, three, two. And we're gonna switch sides, switch sides. The left leg comes forward. Let's hold that deep stretch first. Hold that deep stretch. Hold it there. For chip feel, nice deep stretch of that hip flexor of that right side. And now let's take it to the rotation. Elbow to the ground. Rotate to the left. Keep going. Come on, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Bring both feet in. We're going to come here. Seated down. Drop your booty. Hands are together if you can. Elbows pressing your knees outward. Shoulders relaxed, core nice and tight. Feel free to rock side to side. If you're feeling a little tighter, you're not able to get this deep range of motion, feel free to come up a little bit higher. You can put your hands on your thighs and rock side to side. Good work, you guys, good work. Get a little low if you can. You gotta hold these stretches, come on. We gotta work that flexibility at some point. Here we go, you've got five seconds. Four, three, two. Here we go. Come on up with that stance. Go a little bit wider with your feet. You're going to shift your body weight to the left. Hold it. Now the key here is to have that left heel grounded. So you don't want to be up on that left toe like that. You don't want to be with that heel up like that. Okay, so you want to shift your body weight back. Again, if you can't be as low, you're here. Come on. Don't neglect these stretches. Hold it deep for five, four, three, two. Let's go. Shift your body weight. You should just be able to shift right over to that other side. Up higher if you need to. Core is tight. 
Or if you can get deep and low, drop it down. Inhale, exhale, nice deep breath. We've got 10 seconds. Our part one of our chipper is pretty short. You've got four exercises. Here we go, three, two, one. Come on up, give me some jumping jacks while I explain part one of that workout. Here we go, so we've got a chipper. You guys keep going with those jacks. First, dude, you've got an eight minute time cap. If you finish all the exercises within the eight minutes, then you just start over. Right on, right on. Burpees, 10 burpees, 20 dips, 30 push-ups, 40 donkey kicks. You're gonna do 40 on each side because I want you to really have that booty nice and engaged. All right, here we go, you guys. Get that timer started. So you're starting off with 10 burpees. You got a 10 minute time cap, eight minute time cap. Burpees with a full push-up in four, three, Two, here we go. You've got 10 burpees. Drop your chest to the floor in that full push up. Back in and up. You're at your own pace. Let's go, let's go. 10 burpees, 10 burpees. Come on. You got it, you got it. Don't let my music go. Here we go, you guys. Once you finish those 10 burpees, you've got 20 dips. Twenty dips, twenty dips. Come on, let's go, let's go. Twenty dips. You're on a bench or a chair, or you can do these on the floor. And you're just dropping that booty down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. All right, let's go, let's go. Come on. You got it. Twenty dips is next. After those ten burpees, any breaks that you need, you can take them. This is at your own pace. So once you've done. Those 10 burpees, you've got 20 dips. 20 dips are next, you guys. 20 dips. There we go. 20 dips after those burpees. 20 dips after those burpees. Dropping down nice and deep. Straight back up. After your 20 dips, you have... 30 push-ups on your knees or on your toes. Here we go. Keep going, you guys. 10 burpees, 20 dips, 30 push-ups, 40 donkey kicks on each side. You got it, you got it, you got it. Feel free to write it down and keep track if you want. What happened to my music? There we go, you guys. 10 burpees, 20 dips, 30 push-ups, and then 40 donkey kicks. That's what's next. That's what's next. You got it. You got it. I'm just going to change it. I don't know what happened to the music, but stop. All right, you guys, keep going, keep going. Gonna get down to my push-ups right here, 30 push-ups. You don't have to do all 30 in a row. You can take a break if you need to. Keep going. Keep going. Once you've hit those 30 burpees, I'm oh, sorry, 30 burpees. Yeah, go ahead. 30 push ups, then you're on the ground for those donkey kicks. Not those kind of donkey kicks, Miss Randy. You're here, so you're squeezing and activating your glute. So it's kneeling, squeeze your butt. You do not want to come up into hyperextension of your lower back. Squeeze your butt. Good work, good work. So it's 40 on each side. 40 donkey kicks on each side. You got it, you got it, you got it. So 40, make sure that your lower back is nice and flat. It's a shorter range of motion than you would think. 
So you're not coming all the way up high with your leg. You're coming up, activating that glute muscle. Inhale back, exhale. Keep the foot flexed. Foot is flexed. Shoulders are stacked over the wrist. This is kind of our warm up round. So we want to slow it down a little bit as soon as you hit 40 reps on each side. Then you go back to the top with your 10 burpees. And I know we're going to get through this a couple of times. Some of us are more speedy than others, and that's okay. Simple movement to fire up and activate and warm up the glute muscle. You got it. Hit 40 reps on each side. Good, all right, we've got one person already starting back from the top. She's on 10 burpees. We're going to get through at least two rounds, you guys. Come on, keep working those glutes. As soon as you're done with those donkey kicks, you are on. Rest if you need to or back to the burpees. Here we go, I'm going to start from the top. 10 burpees. Remember, you're getting that full push-up in with your burpee. Jump the legs in, jump it up in the air. Go, go, go. We're gonna watch. Let's go. Ten burpees. Everybody should be close to starting back with those burpees. Once you're done with your burpees, 20 dips. Here we go, 20 dips, 20 dips. Dips can be done in a couple of ways. Make sure the shoulders are rolled back. Easiest position, knees are bent, feet flat on the floor. Drop down, one. So the reason why I chose not to do weight today, if you do use your weights, that's totally okay. But I want you to really focus in on the muscle groups that you're using. So here with these tricep dips, maybe you take that modified option so that way you can really squeeze through the back of the arms when you come up. Like I said, everybody's at a different level right now. Everybody's at a different count, and that's okay. 10 burpees, 20 dips, 30 push-ups, 40 on each side. Kneeling donkeys. Get them in, get them done. You have one minute left to go. One minute, one minute. Part two coming up. We go a little bit longer with our chipper. Woo! There we go. Squeezing those triceps, tricep dips. That's the name of the exercise. That's the name of the muscle group that we work. Let's go. I'm going to straighten my legs for my last five. On the push-ups in three, two, you do not have to be with me. You're at your own pace. Let's go. 30 seconds. Try and get nice deep range of motion on your push-ups. Get that chest to the floor if you need to modify to a higher surface to your knees to a wall, that's okay. Just get down in deep to that chest. You've got three, two, one. Come on up. Here we go, you guys. Woo, grab a quick drink. Quick drink, we're going a lot longer now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first five exercises as we progress. I'll show you the rest. You guys give me some jump rope right here. Keep those bodies moving. I want to see those arms circling around and around. Get that heart rate up. You've got a minute on your rope. Here we go. You guys stay on your rope. First exercise, you've got a hundred. Body weight squats. Feet are parallel to each other. Booty drop down. Here we go. So a hundred body weight squats. Do not start yet. I told you not to start. Then you've got 90 sit-ups all the way down. All the way up. 
Then you've got 80 alternating forward lunges, 40 per leg. And then 70 glute bridges. Those are your first few exercises, you guys. Get ready in three, two, body weight squats. Go. 100 on your own pace. If at any point of these you want to make them harder, I'm not going to count mine because I can't count them top at the same time. But you count. You want 100. Feel free. You've got options. If you want to make them a little powerful jump squat, you can. You can make up, mix up your reps. Do 10 slow. Do 10 jump. 10 slow, 10 jump. It's up to you how you break this up. But focus. Glutes, quads, hammies. If you want to add weight, it's up to you as well. I told you I was going strictly body weight today. Coming up, flexing my quads. I think we've hit quads quite a bit this week. Maybe that's why my legs are so dead tired. Inhale down. Exhale up. Showing you from the side what it should look like. Hips back. Drive up and squeeze. The booty. A hundred. Don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat these reps. Try and get lower. Can you get booty parallel to the floor on your squat? Stand up tall. Once you hit 100, then you're on the floor. For 90 sit-ups, you can do any sit-up variation that you so choose. Again, you can mix up the rep range. Keep going. I'm going to hope that you guys are counting. And when I see somebody switch to sit-ups, I know I'll be done. Woo, come on. 100 a lot, though, right? Come on, body weight. Hips down. Up and drive. Come on, all functional, functional fitness right here. Forever in our lives, we will be doing this movement. So long as you can use the bathroom on your own. Right? Come on. Tummies are tight. Relax the shoulders. Down and up. Woo! All right, we should be rounding out. Becky's done. On the sit-ups, once you're done, you have water breaks any time that you need them. I'm not going to cue your water break or your rest period. We're just going to chip away until we hit that final exercise, which is 10 reps. Showing you some sit-up variations. If you're still squatting, that's okay. Sit-ups. All the way down. All the way up. Inhale down. My lower back goes completely flat to the floor. And then I come up. Inhale back. Exhale, I come up. That's an option. Crunches are an option. So I'm not coming up as high. I'm keeping my spine anchored to the floor. Lower back especially. Hands behind the head. Chin off the chest. Right? When we crunch, we don't take our chin. And pull it way down, chin off the chest, create space in the neck. 90 is your rep count. If you want to throw in some reverse curls, feel free. Lift those hips, lower down. You've got 90 at your own pace, at your own count. Good work, you guys. This is a chipper workout. Sometimes we can do chippers. Anyway. Woo. Keep going, keep going. Let's go, you guys. So once you've hit 90, I've lost my mic. Once you've hit 90 on those sit-ups. Then, you go 80 on lunges. Come 
So once you're done with those sit-ups, you've got alternating forward lunges, 80 reps total. It looks like everybody's still doing some abs. So I will do some abs with you. Let's go. Slowing down. Feel it. Don't just go through the motion. Engage. Think of a corset right tight around your tummy. Sucking it in. Holding it tight. If you're doing that full sit-up, I want you to come up with a nice straight spine. All the way down. All the way up. Again, an exercise that you shall choose. You could add weight to this. Hands holding a weight, going down with it, going up with it. Once you're done with those sit-ups, what was next? Alternating forward lunges. One, two, all the way to 80. I'm not using weight today. I'm going to focus on my depth, focus on range of motion. Getting that back knee to touch the ground. Drive off the forward leg. Switch. Hands on the hips. It's always good to slow us, slow yourself down every once in a while. Take this time to be grateful for what your body is capable of on its own without adding any fancy equipment. Here we go. I'm on a squeeze. I want you to think. Mind-muscle connection. How do you do that? You squeeze. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your quads. Almost like you're flexing, right? If I want to flex my biceps, I do this. I'm doing the same thing to my quads here, you guys. All right. You're still on those sit-ups. Keep rocking away. It's 90 sit-ups of any form. Once you're done with these, alternating glute bridge, or sorry, alternating lunges, then we're on glute bridges. Yes. Woo! Here we go, here we go. I know Becky can't, so I'm gonna keep going till I see her on the floor. Options, I like Karen's option. You can walk these lunges. You can move across the floor, one after the other. So long as you hit 80 total lunges. You got it, you got it, you guys. No weight. No weight, maybe I had a pause. No weight. Still got my heart rate up. Come on. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, you guys, 80 alternating lunges. Come on, keeping that core tight. Belly button on the spine. Once you've hit 80, not 80 on each leg, 80 total. I kind of feel like we should be there already. Come on, Becky, where are we at, Becky? Woo! Five left, she says. But again, everybody else is on their own. Let's go. Nice job, nice job. 80 total, 80 total. Then you hit the floor. If you need water, have water close by. All right, so you're all the way flat on your back. Keep going with your lunges if you're still there. If you're on to glute bridges, feet, just under your heat, under your knees, drive up, squeeze. Don't touch your butt to the floor on the way down. So I don't want you completely resting. Hips up, tight, drop, up. Leave it drop, then pop. Here we go. You're on 70 is your magic number for these guys right here. Hamstrings and glutes. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Don't rest the booty on the floor on a single rep. It doesn't. Maybe it, it whatever other word I'm looking for. 
kind of touches it a little bit, brushes by the floor, but it does not rest down. Come on. We've got 70. And you're breathing. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you lift. Inhale. Try not to think of anything else that you have going on today. Think of your muscles. Every different exercise is a different muscle group. So here, hamstrings are glued to your main focus. So I want your whole mind thinking, whoo, is my butt getting firmer? Oh yeah, it is. Come on, keep going, keep going with those glute bridges, you guys. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. So we already did 100 squats. We did 90 sit-ups. We're hammering through those alternating lunges for 80. Now we're on to glute bridges. 70 is your magic number. Keep going with those. Once you're done, you're in a plank position. Plank, alternating shoulder taps is gonna be next. So one, two, three, four, all the way to 60. Here we go. I'm gonna keep glute bridging. Keeping those heart rates somewhat low today, focusing again on a strength day. Once you finish those bridges, you're in plank. Get your shoulders stacked over your wrists. I'll give you two options. You can do two equals one for a rep or one equals one. It's 60 is your number. It looks like this. So one, one, two, two, or one, two, three to 60. You choose. Here we go, you guys. If you need to modify those planks, you can always do them from your knees. Keeping that core neck. Try not to rock your bodies side to side, however, when you lift the arm. Keep everything tight, locked, and loaded. What's your focus here? Stabilizing muscles in the shoulders and the wrists. Stabilizing muscles in the triceps as well. And then your core. Suck the belly button in. Let's go. Come on. 60 total. One equals one or two equals one. It's totally up to you. Once you're done with those, 50 tricep push-ups is our next one. Nice. So 60 plank shoulder taps right into 50 tricep push-ups. Let me show you that option. You've got option one on a higher surface. Let's go from that first modification. Higher surface, coming down, straight back up, down, right back up. Level two, you move to the floor, you get low chest to the ground, Elbows in tight to the body. Drive away through those arms, triceps, or full option. You're up on your toes, chest to the floor, elbows squeezed by your rib cage. Drive it up. 50 tricep push-ups is next after those plank shoulder taps. Keep reminding you of the exercise so you don't forget we hit 100 squats, 90 sit-ups, 80 alternating lunges, 70 glute bridges. Are your arms like jello yet? Plank shoulder taps for 60. Now your tricep push-ups for 50. Let's go. Maybe you do them in sets of 10 as a way to break it up. You give your arms a little shake out. You give your lifts a little twist. Okay, 50 tricep push-ups. As soon as you're done with those, come on up. You're alternating lateral lunges for 40. I 
Everybody still working those push-ups. But after you're done with 50, you're standing up and you're going lateral with your lunge. And here we go. If you have finished those push-ups, relax your shoulders, give a little shake out. We're going lateral lunge. One, two, three. Just like that. All the way to 40. Don't cheat yourself on your reps, you guys. If you see somebody else starting a new exercise and you haven't finished your reps, of the last exercise, please finish them. This isn't a race or a competition. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Side to side. From here, how do you make these more advanced? If you want, you can add a little hop. Or you could have added weights. Come up straight, sit back, booty's back. So don't just move side to side without thinking about what you're doing. Shift your hips back, drop that leg so it's parallel to the floor, push back through, back, up, back. 40 alternating lunges, drops down to 30. Superman's. So you're on your belly, on the floor, head and spine, looking at your carpet or your mat or your grass, up and down. So it's 30 Superman's. These are the opposing muscle groups to the core. Just as important as doing core strengthening, core stabilizing exercises, we want to hit the back of the body, posing muscle groups so they are strong as well. So lifting up the legs, lifting the upper body, hands off the floor, squeeze your butt for a count of two every rep at the top. Up, down. So again, don't cheat your rep. Don't go through these fast. I want you to literally lift, hold, two, drop. Lift, hold, two, drop. That's how you should be counting your reps. Okay, I'm gonna do 10 with you right here. Let's go up, hold, two, drop. Up, hold, two, drop. Up, hold, two, drop. Up, hold. Two, drop. Up, hold, two, drop. Let's go. Come on, you got it. That's your count. 30 Supermans. 30 Supermans, you guys. You got it. 30 Supermans. Once you're done with those 30 Supermans, no weight or lightweight if you want, but I want you to feel your back muscles activating. So we're doing a renegade row. I'm doing mine without weight. So it's one, one, two, two, three, alternating renegade rows. There should be no excuses that you don't rock your hips because you have not put a weight in your hand. Yes, it is. So no weight in your hand, eliminate the shifting of the hips. Hip bones point down to the floor. We're going two equals one on these renegade rows. Let's go. If you're still finishing out those supermans, keep going. Come on, you guys, don't rock. Shoulders pointing at the ground. Pull your hand back a little bit towards your hip. 
Squeeze, elbow high. Once you hit two equals one on those renegade rows, you have 10 power rolls. 10 power rolls, they look like this. Come up, drop, legs up, in, up. So once you've done those 20, 10 per side, or sorry, 20 total per side of those renegade rows, then you have 10 power rolls. 10 power rolls. Looking good, you guys, looking good. Feel it, showing you from the back how that should look. You're pulling back, squeeze that elbow up high, put the hand back down. Squeeze through the back, put it back down. Nice job. Power rolls. If you can, shoot those legs out straight, hover your legs around the floor. If you need to use your hands to get up, this is what it looks like. Okay, so you're down, legs out, hands on the floor, and up. Try it without your hands by really tucking your legs into your butt. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. Once you finished those 10 power rolls, go back. Go back up because, don't worry, you're not gonna go all the way back up to the top because I'm just wanting everybody to finish this together. So if you're done with your 10 power rolls, do 10 more and then go 20 alternating renegades until everybody's finished. Now I can't see everybody. I don't know if everybody is finished. But for time's sake, we're gonna go two more minutes. So keep going, keep going. You've got two more working minutes. All right, two more working minutes, you guys. Hit those power rolls. 10 and then 10 again. Rest and grab some water if you need to. And then you're back to renegades. Go high plank position on those renegades. Glutes are tight if you have weight and you want to use them, feel free. If not, elbow high. Put your hand right back down in the same place. Challenge yourself with your feet. Can you keep them close together as you renegade without rocking your hips? Challenge. If you can't do that without rocking your hips, then I want you to go wide and keep those hip bones pointing to the floor. Woo! You got it, you got it. Come on. Almost there, almost there. You've got 45 seconds. Once you've done those alternating renegades, 30 supermans was the next exercise. And for time's sake purposes as well, I had a bonus part three round, and I think I'm just going to make that our finisher because it looks fun. Woo! Here we go, you guys. You've got 10 seconds. Keep repping it out. 10 seconds. Now, you can always, if you want to make this workout longer, you want to do it again someday, you can always ramp yourself all the way back to the top. Here we go in three, two, one, grab a quick drink. We've got a three, two, one, finisher. First three minutes, as many reps as you can, you're turning your toes out. Plie, goblet squat with a hop. If you don't want the hop, do not take it. Just do regular old goblet squat. Three minutes, as many reps as you can. You don't have to count them. You can just try and go the full three minutes without stopping. Let's go. Start with me if you want, otherwise the bell will go off in four, three, all right. So here we go, option one, just a regular old goblet squat, looking to increase your range of motion, put your fingertips and try and touch the floor with them, up and down, 
Three, two, one. Finisher. Let's go, let's go. Come on. If you want to add this and make it a little bit more plyometric, jump squat those goblets. All right. I told myself I was going to take it easy today. So I'm not going to jump anymore. But you can jump if you want. Just make sure when you go down, ladies, I should not see the top of your head. So if you're squatting like this and you're seeing the top of my head, fake it. Come on, I want your chest tall. Show me your face. Show me how happy you are that you have two more minutes left of these. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have said that. Come on. Come on. What better things do we have to do than to make our asses look awesome for when we can actually be around more people and show them how hard we've been working during this quarantine. Yes. Come on. Make it burn. Think of those inner thighs. Try and zip them up tight together. No one should be complaining that their thighs rub together when they walk. No way. All muscle here. Let's feel it. Come on. Woo. Relax those shoulders. Inhale as you go down. Exhale, drive through the heels. You've entered the final minute. Here we go. Don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, back, yay. She's gonna rep out. Jumps for the last 45 seconds. Woo-hoo. Can you too? Now I'm gonna focus on deep fingertips. Touching the floor. Opening my knees outward when I sit. Guess what? That's why we do this. This is why I have you do this silly little warm-up drill for this very exercise. Test it out. Come on. See how your flexibility, your mobility improves. Do this exercise right here periodically throughout the day for a couple minutes at a time and see how your mobility improves. Three. I'm still talking, yeah. but that was the bell. Shake it out, shake it out. Come to the floor. Two minutes. We work the abs some more. Any form of sit-up crunch bicycle that you want to do. Two minutes. Let's go. Start before the bell if you want. Otherwise, you're on in five, four. Woo. Two minutes. Let's go. Now, if you wanted to make, because I did say that today's finisher was plyometric, which basically just is explosive power. We did these yesterday. If you missed them, you can do them today. Power plank or knees in. But I will say our next minute exercise, you will be in that plank position. So you might as well just stand back. Inhale, exhale as you go down. As you come up, shoot that air up. Inhale, take it all in. Lower your back flat. Can you sink your hand underneath your lower back? You should not be able to, my lady friends. Tuck the pelvis. Push that lower back into the floor. Imagine somebody sticking their finger and poking your belly button. Yeah, see, I gotta give you all these visuals so you know what to think, right? Come on. Take your hips, rotate your pelvis, push it down to the floor. You've got a minute left. Now, if you're not doing sit-up and you're doing a reverse crunch, don't just make it momentum in the legs. Really try and think of those internal muscles that connect to your hip flexors are pulling the legs in and then lowering down. Woo! So how can we think of this one? Come on, you still got a minute. Oh, bye, Casey. Have a great day, girl. All right, you guys, so how do we think? Think of a pail. You've got a pail. Your inner core muscles are the handle of that pail. They're pull up on that pail with your handle. 
and then drop it down. Let's go. You've got 14 seconds. And then we've got a one minute grasshopper. Woohoo! Then we are done. You got it, you guys. Three, two, one. Okay, here's what the grasshopper looks like. I don't think I've actually ever done these. They're similar to cricket climbers. However, so think of cricket climbers where you're in that full plank and you come opposite elbow to opposite knee. This one, you're going to come up with your butt a little higher. Shoulders are still over your wrist, trying to get that shin towards your elbow. Yes? Guys, your butt's up a little higher. You're kind of cranking your foot inside so the instep of your leg hits your elbow. You've got one minute. Let's go in five, four, sorry, not yet. Let's get the timer first, then I'll do a countdown. All right, here we go in five, four. Okay, so remember, hips are up, one. shoulders over the wrist, go! Fast as you can, come on, in, 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 in. I wish I could see Julie M on these, because I know she loves those mountain climbers. Come on. The other Julianne, I want you to be careful with your neck here, girlfriend. Here we go, you guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. How fast? You've got 40 seconds. Can you make them faster? Plyometric power. Speed. Woo. Go. Go. Come on. Shoulders. Don't sneak back. Stay directly over your wrist. You've got 20 seconds. Come on, keep going, keep going. I don't want you to stop, but I'm stopping so I can watch you and tell you not to stop, because you only have 10, nine, eight, seven. Come on, Christine, six, five, three, two, one, done. Woo, have a seat right where you are. Inhale. Let's roll those shoulders back. Way to go, you guys. All you needed was your body. And I guarantee you worked hard today. Woo. And roll those shoulders forward. Lift them up nice and high. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, take one arm behind the head. We did a lot of those. Oh, we did 50 tricep push-ups and then 20 dips. So, give a good stretch. Pat yourself on the back. And then switch sides. All right, we've got biceps back and booty tomorrow. That's why we didn't use any weights today. We didn't even touch the biceps today, so they should be amped up and ready to go. Both arms behind your back. Squeeze. Let it out, let it out. Whew. Good, final breath right here. Inhale, exhale. 